Hello! My name is Ethan and welcome back to another episode of Path of Exile Harvest League 3.11. So in this episode, uh, the entire video is going to be about build upgrades and the progression after the league start. So I will start the video, the video off by saying uh, this is day four. We're six hours away from day five. I have uh, 50, 50, 4, 59 hours of playtime. Uh, we have some currency. What I've done for currency up till now is pretty much just mapping and progressing my atlas while doing conquerors, while getting map completion, while getting awakening bonus, while getting conquerors to get all of my watchstones to progress my atlas towards awakener 8 and to have my full atlas completion. While also collecting high tier seeds where we have like item level 80 tier 3s and stuff, it's pretty cool. We farm tier 16s, but that, now to get into what you guys came for. Um, the build and what do you upgrade after the league start so the league start recommendations were two cold iron points um obviously a six link the six link it goes without saying so if you don't have a six link you probably want one i got mine for like 4c these are the colors we use summon carry on golem uh 21 i bought a 21 for like 20c uh then i have minion damage impale Brutality. I bought an Awakened Melee Fizz for 1.6x. It's a 10% chance to intimidate, which is 10% uh, more damage. And then we have Multi Strike. Uh, we're going to get this qualityed for free when it hits level 20. If you don't know, you can vendor recipe a gem when it hits level 20. You can sell it to a vendor with 1 GCP to get a level 1 gem with 20% quality. So it's free 19 quality. Um, pretty cool. Okay, so now I want to go over. So I started with um, obviously the eminence uh i started with the cold iron points a six link these were the first things i went for so the first thing i went for was a six link then i went for w two eminence because they were really cheap and then i went for um the cold iron points after getting the cold iron points i i got um harmonies uh like two of them i then bought a might uh, primordial might it was like 75 C then I converted the primordial might eminence and harmony into uh, an anima stone when I had three more primordial jewels so I had three more uh, two more eminence and a harmony ready to to go into the build so when I converted my jewels which is when you sell a primordial might a harmony and an eminence to the shop to the vendor you can sell all three to the vendor to get an anima stone so I was using the anima stone because with an anima stone uh, I had the three other primordial items socketed which means I got two golems from the anima stone and I and I think that the two golems was better than just having aggressive uh, golems because I could just run feeding frenzy on my carry on golems and it was basically like primordial might so I just kept running feeding frenzy until somebody one of my viewers donated me another primordial might so I yeah I had two after and GG I didn't have to worry uh, so that was the order it went uh, anima into uh, so primordial might into anima into another primordial might and then when we had all the jewels it started to feel really good because obviously we have four uh carry on golems and a stone and a and a chaos so then uh the next thing i did was i noticed that my specters and zombies have been dying the entire time up till this point and it was really 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 fucking annoying so obviously i was trying to level them up i i didn't buy the gems they i was just leveling them myself adding quality etc uh, so you can see here, it's almost 20 now. Finally, with 20 quality. Okay, so what I did is I crafted this helm, uh, which is an item level 80 elder helm. Uh, and that's to roll the minion life 20. You don't have to go that high of an item level, but it was only 4C for the base. 65 item level for the 2 plus 2. If you wanted plus 3, it's 86, which is way more expensive. Trying to get an 80, item level 86 Elder Helmet is expensive. So then, how did I roll this? I used Harvest Crafting, and there is no specific targeted crafting to use for this. I kind of just used every... It was like Chaos Spamming in the Harvest. I was just Chaos Spamming with the random crafts that you can do for like an hour or two. It was pretty good. It worked out. And then I socket colored with uh, chromes, and I got really lucky. Um, this is really hard because it's a deck strength base, but 
Either way, this made it so my specters and zombies survive a lot more stuff. I'm doing tier 16s, I'm getting conks, I'm doing awakener uh, 5. Stuff is surviving, so that's really, really pog, and uh, I'm super excited. This was one of the ne best quality of life upgrades I could possibly go for. And then... Uh, I was I got to another awakener so my second awakener is was awakener 5 I had all the watchstones in and uh, I beat it I did in fact beat it and what did I do to beat it uh, I changed some items so this is when I made a big swap through I went and did a sweep of chaos res through my build because I had negative 28 for four days so now we have 65 it's way better so uh, what I did is 26 chaos res on the ami because literally the ami was just like some decks now it's life and chaos res. The ring I went, this is the same ring that I had. I haven't changed it. Uh, then we have this one, fire res, chaos res, and crafted life. Um, I got a new glove, which was for high decks and cold res and life. And then I crafted minion damage and got unlucky. That's 10% and it could have been 20. Uh, then I bought this, lightning res, life, stygian vice, crafted fire, cold, uh, chaos. And then I was able to get a taunt jewel as well, finally amazing i also forgot to get corrupted corrupted blood immunity before the fight so that's funny either way chaos res dex life move speed this is an insane boot that i probably won't be able to upgrade for a little while um and then the the next big one that i'm doing so if you're curious also i uh upgraded my flask kind of early because like it, it was only like 5c for this curse immune flask and these were like 2c so think about your flask a lot earlier probably they're very powerful um so the next upgrade i'm doing i i did a trade so i had to empty my inventory but this was what my inventory normally looks like i keep a desecrate to respawn my stuff i have that and a life flask for cannot regen maps and then uh i have this amulet item level 82 hunter ami i'm trying to get plus one uh to all intelligent skill gems so that will give a level to my carry on golem specter zombie flesh offering purity of elements um the chaos golem which will maybe if i get it to 21 that could get the free extra f uh level for the physical damage reduction uh i won't need to get an empower for the chaos golem which is super powerful uh that's really nice if i could do that because I think you have to get your Chaos Golem to level 22 to get 5% physical damage reduction instead of 4. So then we get more physical damage reduction. That would be a lot, probably. Um, and then you may ask, so now it's like, okay, then so you've planned up to this point. What's next? Yeah, so a lot of people will ask about Cluster Jewels, other jewels. So right now, I will mention uh, I have Anima Stone, Might, um, Harmony harmony uh so the priorities on the harmony is uh the increased golem damage for each type of golem you have you want that to be 20 and then the increased cooldown recovery speed of the golems not the golem skill because the golem is your golem the golem skill is this fucking thing that you're using to spawn the golem now it makes sense right okay then eminence uh 20 percent attack speed got three of those uh har the jewels are really powerful don't underestimate them honestly i could take out more of my points and spend them into more jewel sockets because it's just that powerful it's just that worth it's op as fuck it's insane and they're pretty cheap the eminence now after you get like the the expensive jewels like the anima and the might and the harmonies the actual eminence to fill out the rest of the builds pretty cheap and it's really, uh, really insane. So then the next question would be, okay, then when do we get, get cluster jewels? And I'll tell you a little like, oh shit, public service announcement. They were changed this season. What? How were they changed? So they made them more rare. Harder to roll two jewel sockets on cluster jewels. And so if you go an eight point and, and you, and it's not perfect with the two jewel sockets, the three notables, then you're no matter what going to probably be spending like seven points for whatever cl uh, notables you pick plus the three points for the jewel socket um they're not really worth it whereas like a really good cluster jewel is insanely worth it so i would recommend for now sitting back and not touching cluster jewels that's my take on it it's like an end game build thing 
And then another question was, Ethan, what about the two-handed weapon? And it's like, yeah, you can you can go spend like or try to craft this yourself. Uh, whatever, it's gonna be really expensive as well. It's gonna be like 10, 14 x. We're working with budget right now, dude. My helm was 4 C. I crafted it myself. We have 15 C weapons that are now probably less 11. Um, these are just like cheap 4 C, 5 C items to to square up my chaos res. I have a 10 C six link. Um, this was a cheap belt. It's like, I, I don't know, the, the most expensive things are like the anima and the primordial might, and that's just because they're uniques that are required in every golem build, and they're so popular, whereas the rest of this, we have a pretty strong build, we're clearing tier 16s, we did Awakener 5, it wasn't the smoothest, but it but I'm just bad, so that's why, and uh, it's really nice, so what would be next then, you may ask, well that's, yeah, that's the difficult part, okay, so what would, in my situation i got my chaos res finally so if you don't have this you probably want that if you don't have your reses you probably want that um if you don't have all the gems that you're using you probably want that if you can um unset rings with similar stats to make up for the reses so you don't need two stone rings would be really powerful because uh two unset rings would allow you to put like flame dash and flesh offering into the unset rings and then you can run a castle damage taken immortal call which would help our physical damage reduction and also it's 26 percent less le damage taken another thing is i probably should finish up my um ascendancies to get the extra eight percent reduced le damage taken of a recent le hit also i should probably do my pantheon so that i can finish up the lunaris or the solaris both of them probably gruth Cole, we need to fill out abrath maybe tukohama um those would be some good ones to fill out uh so shikari is dead to us now we don't need this feels bad man um, if you want, you could go and look at my Carry On Golem ESCI build, and you could copy the tree as long as you can afford gear that makes up for not having the Watcher's Eye with the glare, uh, with the clarity and all that stuff. It's gonna be hard. Um, I don't really recommend it. I kind of recommend for now play the Life build until we can uh, farm currency. And then when we're more rich, when we already have all the minor upgrades, which would be uh, so like. I mentioned I got Awakened Melee Fizz. This is going to help a lot of people just putting them in that direction. Like, oh, that's the best one we should go for first? Yeah. So then there's another one. It's like Awakened Generosity usually is really good and really cheap uh, very early on. And it has a big effect in the build. So I'm probably going to get that. And then um, I'll do that now, dude. Edit. All right. I bought my Awakened Generosity for 118 C. I... I just sold an X for 140 and then bought my bought my gener Awakened Generosity for that. Got to get qual uh, GCP. All right. GCP. Boom, 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 boom. And the extra aura level. Nice. 4037 to 4041 plus one. Easy. Look at those plus six on the Dread Banner. So now I thought it was a good time to do this. So I pulled up my main carry on golem build from last league that got me my personal best at Uber Alder and Awakener 8 in the final part of the season on my birthday when I was doing the like big, big pushes for things for fun. Yeah, uh, this is the build. It's incredible. 2.5 million, which was really like saying 50 million per, but this is with Vicious Bites just to show what they could do. Now that the new Vicious Bite can work on Golem, so we took out Primordial bite, uh, primordial Bonds. Anyways, uh, what, what the point of looking at this is to see... I, my main thing I've been thinking about when upgrading the build has been how do I get more power without spending very much? And so that's why I was saying like Cluster Jewels or the Weapon or etc so now i'll show you just straight up what i actually did for power before so these cl this node of aura was actually really powerful same with this one if you notice i hover this 14 percent aura effect is 110k dps this one node aura what yeah, auras were really powerful because I was I had so much mana reserve that I was stacking so many auras. Like I had Aspect of the Avian, all the purities, pride, uh, with the plus two to auras in this. Oh my god, it's so insane. I still had the dread banner too. 
Uh, yeah. So then I also had all the Awakened gems, and uh, the most important, cheapest one or easiest one to get is Awakened Melee Fizz, because you get the chance to Intimidate. I'll show you this now. Um, you click Intimidate. Yeah, that's just an extra thing on your awakened melee fizz on your on your melee fizz because you went to awakened uh awakened multi-strike has the additional attack which is also gigantic and it's like a usually a 17 percent increase dps increase over normal multi-strike uh so that's like gigantic obviously it's super expensive an empower with the weapon would be gigantic like so you can go for the weapon you can keep this in mind not this weapon it would probably be like fortify or minion double damage uh, you can get the helm enchant to do more damage. You can use a bone helm. You can get sack of walls. Like, these are just things to keep in mind. Now, I, I'm not going to tell you which one to go specifically in order. The pro the, See, the problem is it it's based on price. Damage to cost... And, uh, like, you have to make your own decision. The reason I say this is because if I claim what the thing is, after this video, it won't be the thing anymore. And so... I just have to give you some direction, give you the ideas, let you really like know what, what I would do and what I'm going to do. So this is ESCI after. And so like I said, the amulet, I really want the plus one intelligence skill gems because it makes such a big deal. But in hindsight, you can craft a plus one physical skill gems very easy. It only requires a level 82 warlord amulet base and then you can use the physical targeted crafting of harvest to get it pretty quickly. Apparently people are getting it within three crafts, so keep that in mind. Also, in my main build, um, I don't have an anoint on my Ami yet. Like, there's so many free upgrades because we're a league starter. It's insane, dude. There's just so many things to fill out in the build, honestly. I'm missing anoints on the rings. Uh, we ain't playing Blight. I can get, like, I, I, I can use Stygians. I can use Unset rings. Um, good Flas. <laughs> There's so many things. We, we could start, maybe, to look at, like, a large cluster and try to get one one running clause in the build because it's just that insane i really want it but it's really hard to get into the build and we can already start looking at watcher's eyes but usually they're very expensive to get this early on in the league and so i'm not really worried about it but people want this video because they they need to know the direction and what to go and and like okay so the also another reason i can't tell you the exact items to go yet is because i haven't tried all the crafting yet so we don't know all the options because imagine let's say i put out a video saying this is the best i bait a ton of people into doing it without knowing it's the best and then we find out there was this crafting option that we didn't know about the whole time of like this crazy minion mod and we should have had this weapon instead and ah uh, so instead i'm we're, we'll just say this is the old information based on 3.10 this is what i did before and what we're thinking about after also i screwed up my i, I, I screwed up my damage i don't know what i did i think i scroll the jewel away or something probably one of my clusters is gone yep it unselected my entire cluster oh my god there we go 2.5 back again and the dread march there we go uh so yeah i wanted to help people give them direction this is literally what i'm going to be doing i need to fill out my pantheons i need to get an anoint i can go soccer walls whenever i want i can up continue to upgrade the helmet now that i have a really good helm i can start to min max it uh we can just get endurance charges on rings that would be really nice we can look for more jewels and, and more jewel sockets on the skill tree we could look for one large cluster we could look for a big weapon now i have literally just outlined hundreds of x of spending nobody can ask me ethan what do i buy next you all know what to buy don't none of this none of this was the video that solves it all uh a lot of questions recently about the, uh, what do i buy so there you go here's all the direction all of it explained why why we do it and uh and then if you want to go after to energy shield uh int and es then uh you have to use this kind of a skill tree or more similar but you probably need a very expensive build because i think that it, it's better with like large clusters and and this kind of a skill tree um and it's a lot of gear requirements where it could be very expensive and you might have extremely low energy shield without having the watcher's eye because i'll show you the watcher's eye if it's right here okay boom added a thousand energy shield to the build it's huge 
the energy shield from the tree is only 69 percent i did a tree with like a hundred percent and i still had like barely any energy shield when i was testing it so i recommend life for now because it's just so easy and then you just have to get some chaos res either way thank you guys for watching thank you guys for all the support uh thank thank you uh, i'll be putting out a video probably soon on how to make currency and uh hopefully soon we'll also be getting to these bosses in harvest um excited i think we're close seeing as how we're getting juicy stuff uh thank you guys for watching thank you guys for all the support i can't do this without you guys uh thanks for hanging out i hope you enjoyed and i hope this could help people with the direction for their build of what to buy and uh yeah, uh, I'm sorry I can't tell you exactly what to buy. I wish I could. I wish it was like before when there wasn't a billion people. But now we gotta we gotta suit for the masses, dude. We gotta present so much information that uh, not a single thing gets specifically affected, and we more have like the wider. I think the amulet will be affected, and the helmet bases will be affected, maybe because those are the things I I already did, and the stygian vice. But those were already really cheap, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, either way, I'm going to take this opportunity to thank my Patreon and my YouTube members who financially support the channel. Thank you guys for all the support. I can't do this without you guys. And thank you to anyone new who joins the Patreon or the YouTube members today. And I'll see you guys in the next episode or the stream. Bye!